Atmospheric rivers are, quite literally, rivers in the sky. They're long, narrow bands in the atmosphere that carry large amounts of water vapor, usually from the tropics. The classic example of an atmospheric river spanning over 3,500 kilometers all the way from the tropics. They most often impact the west coast of the U.S. and Canada, sometimes causing flooding, mudslides, and structural damage to communities. We knew that this was a high-end Category 3 atmospheric river. This area completely flooded out as far as the eye can see. Atmospheric rivers are ranked on two metrics, how much water vapor they transport and how long they last. If an atmospheric river carries lots of water and lasts for a long time, it will get a higher rank, such as AR4 or AR5. Conversely, if it doesn't carry much water and is short-lived, it will get a lower rank, such as AR1 or AR2. In the West Coast, especially in California, what we found is that if the event uh, lasts uh, longer, then the impacts is going to uh, increase dramatically. So in some sense, the duration is, is a more uh, important consideration. Having a globalized system to rank events helps scientists to compare and evaluate events across locations all over the world, especially as extreme weather continues to intensify. The most extreme events, especially AR5, they will keep increasing because we don't have AR6, for example, so AR5s would keep increasing, but maybe someday we would, uh, we would uh, need an AR6 on scale, we don't know.